Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We are Hardy, Mr. Pro. This is our dream come true. It took us 45 years to make it happen. Ahead of ourselves. This story actually begins in 1973 on the Gulf Coast Beach. I went to an Air Force Tech School in Biloxi, Mississippi. We lived next to the beach and spent hours drawing our dreams on the sands of the beach. After we became empty nesters, we finally figured out a way to get some land and be able to have kind of a little homestead and grow our own food. Yes, it was in 2011 that the opportunity came to us. Our son had land that wasn't being used and we took it and made its soul come alive. It was in the desert full of sagebrush with low well water and many trials, but we were happy. We had a milk cow named Clara mommy goat and her two babies, over 60 chickens, three dogs, a 3,000 square foot garden, and a small orchard. We loved it. It lasted for about two years before the well went dry and the costs outweighed the benefits. And then we moved to Oregon, where another son was. As we found this place, we went to look at it, and we walked the quarter mile down to the house. We had always been drawn to the country, and that inner ache we had driven us back to the country roads. The barns and the streams and the trees, the houses and the animals, the open space crept back into our hearts, feeding that longing that had never gone away. There was land freshly mowed in all directions. There were forests encased, casing each mowed area. Pine trees, an occasional apple tree, oak trees, and more trees. Everywhere you looked, there was even a tire swing in the front yard. Over to the side of the house, was an old lean-to barn and land, land and more land. As we walked down the path to the river, right on the property, the Santee M, we stared at it in disbelief. We walked around to the back of the house and found an old garden plot. We realized that we could have a garden here. Can this we joined hands and started the walk back down to the car. The first week there, I watched through the window as my husband took his broad fork and dug it into the rich soil. We lived in the country again, and we could grow our own food and provide for ourselves. I gotta tell you, it's really cool spending. I spent like what, what, two hours with Justin, him showing me how he does his editing, some of the techniques he uses for filming. One more time to the river to look at the beauty and just feel the peace of this place. 
and the, enjoy the beauty. It's been a great two years. It has. It's been a fantastic two years. <laughs> Today we did announce where we're going to move to Missouri for all of you who have taken this journey with us as we've searched and searched and searched and searched and loved and figured out and cried and tried and prayed and came off the ledge <laughs> and came off the ledge <laughs> we finally found our new homestead so you see the car behind us we're just gonna kind of turn and pan. Let's do it this way. So there's the little farmhouse. There's one of the little barns. And there's the beautiful barn. There's another little barn. Oh wait, we gotta go up here. Go like that. There's the condo for the birds. And then we're back around. Okay, we just came out to check on Missy and she has her baby and the baby's outside of the fence. She can't get to her. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't let her get under the barbed wire. Yeah, that's why she couldn't get to her. She dropped her right by the fence. Um Pretty unsure about yourself. It's just a new, <laughs> new thing, huh? Those legs are a little wobbly. Just want to stay away from this fence, big guy. They have been free ranging, clear into all of our area, all around here. They free range everywhere. And they love it. But today they are confined to their quarters. Because? <laughs> We are not positive we're getting all the eggs. I mean, and we're looking around the yard, but I mean, where do you look? Uh, you know, until you find the place where they're laying, you don't know where that would be. These are the jumbo Cornish cross, um, <clears throat> plus one little one from Marie McMurray that we have no idea what it is. We lost the two on the first 24 hours and they refunded those. So thank you to, for Marie McMurray. Um, they are a week old yesterday morning, and they're doing very well. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. 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 <laughs> well, there they are. <laughs> now I'm going to take the counters, and I'm going to stain them. So, here goes. All right, I've got this section done look how rich and beautiful it looks i'm just like whoa this is the pile where we had the compost this is where we dumped it and it was a pretty good sized pile this is where the compost is now one of the important points of being able to conserve your energy as a senior on a homestead is to pick your times we got up this morning at six o'clock and did this before the sun was beating down on, this, on us. And it's not spread yet because we were tired. So it will be spread tonight when it's cooler and we're, we're gone through our day and done other things. And when you harvest, that means you're eating it right then. Look at that. Now, guess who gets these? Some happy chickens. They get all the rest. Look at that, guys. This will be a smashing success, I yes, can tell. Yes, it will. So the other day, we, we haven't had mayonnaise in our house for a long time, and I haven't made any for a long time, and I really wanted um, some deviled eggs because they're just good. And I found out that, I said, well, why don't we try some of our yogurt? In with them. You didn't read this anyway. You just made no, it up. No, I just made Ooh, it up. This is a Rinda original. <laughs> now that we're back in Missouri for good, we've decided to name this little farm Trails and Farm. 
I know it's a name that other people have used, but for us, it's fitting with what we've done and what we have as our intention. We're done. It's the end of our trip. As you can see, we have Senior Steading t-shirts. It is our lovely ambition to encourage all a lot of other seniors to do what we do. It's a great place to retire. It is, it is. And we certainly aren't the best at it, but we find that it's a great way to share our experiences with others. And the feedback we get is it is encouraging. We get our encouragement from other people and we're more than happy to share our successes and even some of our challenges and some of our failures because that's all part of it. So we'll have three videos a week and you can see right on the screen when those will be. And we hope that you will subscribe, like, and share and be part of our senior studying community here at Hardiness Approach. Hey, thanks for watching. Be looking for playlists that have to do with senior studying topics. We're going to have several of those with videos we've had in the past and with videos that we're going to be making into the future. So enjoy.